What's going on guys? I'm back with another video. Uh, hope you guys had a good weekend and we're out shooting and creating. I filmed Borgor, a show here in Edmonton. Um, so hopefully you guys will see that recap video sometime this week. Um, I'm just waiting on a few different logos and promotional material to put in it. But that show was sweet, got some really good shots. Um, so hopefully that edit turns out really good. For today's video, I want to cover a write-on text effect that I've seen in a lot of videos. I know it's really easy to do in Premiere Pro, uh, but I haven't seen a video with it in Final Cut Pro yet, so I'm going to do it for you guys today. This is sort of based off of Beautiful Destinations Venice video um, that they just put out this week. It was done by Nainoa, um, so I know a lot of you guys will know of him. And this edit was crazy. Hopefully you guys will check it out if you haven't seen it yet or you've already seen it. So I'm just going to play what they did here. So that's all it is. It's super simple, um, but it gives a really cool write-on effect. So in order to get the full effect is you want to use a brush script um, similar to this one because it really enhances that write-on effect. One of my favorite websites to go to is defont.com. Um, I'm a huge um, designer. I know a lot of you guys, I'm in a design internship right now. Um, so I love different fonts and downloading fonts. Defonts is all free fonts that you can download. Um, I went over to the script section here and then the brush title. And so you can basically just scroll through here and find a font that works with sort of the vibe of your video, depending on how sort of paint like or if you want it more like a marker. Um, there's a whole bunch of different things that you can look for in a font. So what I like to do is put in my preview. So for this example, I'm just going to put my name in it. And we can submit that because you could put in the title of your video or just your name or whatever, and you can really find a font that works best for you. What we're looking for for this shot is going to be something that doesn't have a lot of crossover um, and sort of loops that tie back with each other because that's going to be hard to mask around to really get this right on effect as smooth as possible. So scroll through here and find one that you liked. This dry brush one is good. I think that one would work really well. Um, yeah, sort of just scroll through and see what works best for you. This one looks pretty cool, Billy Ohio. Go to the next page. Um, Gloss and Bloom, this is the one I just downloaded. I'm going to use as an example. So go ahead and hit download. It's free for personal use. Um, so that's the one we're going to be working with today. That one's going to work really well for this shot. So we hop back into Final Cut. I just have a blank project here for the example. We're going to go over to our titles. And then we're just going to add a basic title in here. So basic title, open up our inspector. And then I'm just going to change it to, let's go capital smart Webster. Change the font to the gloss and bloom. And then we're just going to increase that size just so you guys can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to drop the baseline on this. And if you increase the tracking, that spaces out the letters, um, which is going to help with the mask a little bit just might make it a little bit easier for us. So that looks pretty good. Um, so I'm just gonna close this, and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a draw mask to this. And so all gonna be different points um, and masks that we create. So if we add draw mask here. So what I suggest is add in a whole bunch of points right from the start, because we're gonna be keyframing these as they move across the screen. Um, so I would add sort of like eight at the start. It's going to get a little um, tightly compacted, um, but it's really going to help as we get farther out because you want to try and mimic the right on effect. So you want to like copy the mask um, and draw the mask as if you were writing the letters. So it's not going to be perfect, um, but we'll definitely be able to get something cool out of it. So I'm just going to add in a whole bunch of points right here. And just like that. So we're going to keyframe all these points, these transform tools, um, and then we're going to be able to move it. 
So what I'd recommend doing is for each letter, go about four frames or so um, to get to the whole effect of it. So I'm just gonna leave that right there and then we're gonna start moving this until we see our first letter and we're gonna draw in sort of that first, what is that? Gonna draw in that first line. So if that's number one, and then number two, frame, we can lift this up. Three frame, move this over, and we'll get the down portion. And just keep adding frames and creating more Just keep moving these over and just trying to mimic the sort of stroke pattern that we're gonna get from the writing. So I know we're only using a few keyframes right now, um, but it's really gonna help as we expand out. And there is our M done, skip a frame. Skip another frame. start bringing these ones over because we're going to need these for our once we get to oops, once we get over a little bit um, it's really going to help to have these extra ones just so we can get around some of the curves a little bit easier so I'm just gonna fast forward through this if you guys get the idea um, and then we'll see how it looks at the end of it. So as you can see, some letters are a lot harder than others to get this effect to, um, but it doesn't need to be perfect. We can just play around and then the final effect should still turn out pretty good. And there we go. So that is about two seconds of masking. Um, so we can always make a compound clip of this after and then speed it up if we want to give a slower effect to it. But let's see how this works. So I think that was pretty good. Um, I don't know what you guys think, but I think that gives the effect that we're looking for. So that's pretty much how you do it, guys. Um, you can try it on whatever clip you want. Um, just remember, choose the right font, and that'll make your job a little bit easier in the end. But that's today's video. Hope you guys learned something, and I'll see you guys next time.